How's it going guys? Seagrub here. Hopefully you are doing well. And in today's video, I'm going to be syncing the entire Olympic class in different ways using floating sandbox. Let's get into it. All right. So first off, we have the RMS Olympic or at least the troop ship version because I couldn't find the original version. But this is my first time playing floating sandbox on the channel. So let me know if you enjoy in the comment section. But uh, first tool we got here is the uh, smash tool. So this basically just smashes stuff and breaks stuff. This was actually the first ship of the Olympic class. That's probably why it's called the Olympic class. But anyway, we all know the Titanic sank from the bow, but the Olympic never sank in real life so i'm just gonna go ahead and make it sink from the stern so i'm just gonna break a few holes over here okay that's already going down pretty fast i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab the uh, slice tool to like cut down the funnels and stuff so like when water would reach the funnels the funnels would like crumple and fall if you've ever seen the titanic movie you'll know the titanic oh dang this thing's actually going down pretty fast dang this would be a crazy way to see a boat sink usually boats always sink from the front because they're like hitting stuff or getting torpedoed but it'd be pretty crazy to see something this large like sink from the back well that thing sank pretty fast so i'm gonna go ahead and uh spawn it back in and sink it a different way this time all right so we got the ship back uh, i'm gonna go ahead and explore some of the tools we have here we have a bunch of different ones we have the uh, blast tool what does that do oh it's like an explosion here can i explode part of the hole oh yo that's actually pretty cool let's see if we can sing it like this okay it's very loud uh okay it's just going straight down here what if i just oh Oh, if you hold it down for a long time, it absolutely explodes. That is crazy. That sank very, very fast. I would not want to be on that. All right, so we have it back once again. So I'm going to test out some more stuff. We have the uh, adjust terrain tool. Oh, wait, this boat doesn't even move, so we can't really use that. Um, We have an electric spark. What does that do? Um, I guess it just electrocutes it. Uh, What else we got? Oh, we have a heat blasting tool. What does that do? Oh, yo, it lights things on fire. What the... Oh, wait, I think it only lights, like, the wooden things on fire, like the masts and stuff. I don't think it actually lights, like, the metal stuff on fire. That makes sense. Uh, what else we got? We got the repair tool. Can I repair this? Okay, I don't think I can repair that. Uh, oh, wait, there's a fire extinguisher. What if I just... Okay, now can I repair that? Let's see, let's see. All right, got the repair tool. Yo, you can repair it. Okay, I still hear fire sounds. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but what do we got? Oh, we got the wave maker. Here, let's try something here. Let's try something here. Let's make a tsunami. Yo, that's sick. Guys, comment down below if you're enjoying floating sandbox on the channel because I would love to do some more videos on this. All right, the wave's about to hit. And uh, what is it going to do? Okay, that, that's not doing very much. Okay, it flooded the front part here. Uh, okay, that barely did anything. So I'm going to try something else now. What do we got? Um, Thanos snap. What is that? Oh, oh, that's sick. Just disintegrated it. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the Titanic now. All right, I got the Titanic here. Now, this ship's a little more advanced than the last one. This one actually moves. Like, you can turn on the engines if you click right here. It's crazy that this thing actually moves. I, like, know nothing about this game. I don't know how to build boats or do anything. So this is pretty new to me. There's no smoke coming out of the fourth funnel. I think that's because in real life, the Titanic's fourth funnel was like fake or it was just for an air vent or something. I'm not really sure though. Uh, oh, wait, I can make it kind of strike an iceberg. Let's try and simulate that. Uh, what if I go and get the uh, terrain tool real quick? Right, got the terrain tool. Now, what if I make like a spike? Oh yeah, that looks like an iceberg kind of. All right, it's about to hit it. Uh, what is this going to do? Oh, oh, oh my God. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the engines. Turn off the engines. Holy crap, that's crazy. Uh, I was not expecting that. That's, that's actually wild. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn this thing back in real quick. Okay, that completely destroyed the entire ship. So I'm just gonna try and uh, simulate it differently this time. What if I like breach the compartments and stuff? I'm pretty sure the Titanic had like five compartments breached and that's why it sank. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one, two, three, four, and five. So it should sink now. You know, if I just don't touch it, I wonder if it'll like sink accurately. I'm gonna try that. All right. So the bow's going underwater right now. So once the water gets up to like right here, it should go to its final plunge. Yo, the hole's fracturing right here. I wonder if it'll actually split in half. All right. Water's spilling over into the seventh compartment. This is honestly a pretty cool boat. Whoever built this must've spent a lot of time on it. Okay. So once water gets over here, it should start going down really fast. Yeah. This hole is starting to break even more. It's crazy. All right. So right about here, some of the uh, lines on the funnel would start snapping like that and then once water reaches the base of the funnel i'm pretty sure it collapsed like this cut that oh yo it just split in half that's awesome holy crap oh and it's like still connected so it like pulled the stern down like it did in real life or at least i think it did i don't really know how the titanic sank i just know it split in half dude that thing's pulling the entire stern down that's wild dude even the mast broke and the stern's about to go underwater dude that's awesome all right, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn this thing back in real quick and mess around with it some more. All right, we got the Titanic back again. I want to try something really quick. What if I just go like, like that? Uh, for some reason, the front part's not flooding. I'm not really sure why it's not. It should be. Okay, since the front's not sinking, I'm just gonna... 
do a little few little cuts. All right, so we currently have the Titanic doing a V break. I don't really think that's how it sank. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say the stern is gonna go down first. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the mast off. I don't really think that happened. It just looks cool. Cut the funnel off since it's in the water. What if I just... Oh God. <laughs> uh, well, I completely destroyed the Titanic, so I'm gonna move on to the final ship. All right, we're here with the final ship, the HMHS Britannic. Now, this one actually sank in real life in 1916. It hit a mine, I think, in the Mediterranean Sea, and then it sank. I'm pretty sure this only took an hour and a half to sink, which is less than the Titanic, but I'm pretty sure only, like, 30 people died. So, a lot less than the Titanic. But I heard the main reason it sank was because all the portholes were open. But if the portholes were closed, it wouldn't have sunk. I'm not really sure, though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, simulate a mine strike right here. That, that's about mine-sized, I think. All right, this thing's actually holding up a lot better than the Titanic did. Okay, I'm just gonna expand the mine strike a little bit more because it's taking a while to sink. Yeah, that's accurate. I've seen this happen in real life. If you guys are currently enjoying the video, make sure to comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe if you're not already. Okay, this thing's starting to go down fast. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off some of the funnels just for uh, realism. Oh, the lights just cut out. That was awesome. Go like this cut the mass oh i didn't mean to do that whoops i'm pretty sure this thing actually struck the bottom of the ocean when it was sinking so let me just get the terrain tool real quick before it goes under it did something like this i'm pretty sure yeah because this thing's like i'm pretty sure it's like 800 feet long and it was only in like 600 feet of water i don't know how how deep the water was i'm just going off what i think i don't know uh wait no and then it fell sideways or something here let me get this uh rotate tool what if i go like oh whoop Okay, I just absolutely obliterated that thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get a new one. All right, since this thing was actually sunk by a mine, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those bomb tools because I feel like that would uh, be more like a mine than the smashing tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this right here. I'm gonna get very close to this thing. Uh, what the? Oh, oh, okay. It just blew the entire bow off. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be a little smaller, but you know, that works, that works. Let's go ahead and put one at the back of the boat just for, um, put a few on the boat, you know? Okay, this is gonna be a huge explosion. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, the entire boat is now destroyed. But I think that's going to be it for today's video. I know this video is a little shorter than my usual ones. But if you guys are enjoying Floating Sandbox on the channel, comment down below and let me know. And I'll definitely play some more. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.